Guys, we're out here. Day one of Supercross! Out of Castillo's! Well, how you pumped, Daddy? I live for this shit. On a mission, I got the vision. Give me one shot, please put me in position. Girl, I'm on course to collide with the best. If you pumped, Daddy. Oh, we're out here about to throw some water down. Like a lot. A lot, because it's been dry for about, what? A year. <laughs> a year. <laughs> and it looks like a Sahara desert out here, but it's going to be lively tomorrow. Dude, there's bushes on the track like 1970 and a whole room of lesbians, dude. <laughs> Ty's vlogging me. Ty's trying to vlog me. Yeah, he's vlogging. We're out here until dark and we're still not done yet. It's about, I don't know, 8.30, 8 or 9 o'clock, but uh, getting the track watered right now, finishing up, and then... Uh, Come out here in the morning. Hopefully this thing will be dialed. Good morning guys. Just arrived here out at the track. Had to wake up a little bit earlier this morning because I had to hook up the generator and get the water pumping up to some tanks up there because uh, we watered a lot yesterday just because the track was super dry and uh, we wanted to put some extra water on it before everybody started riding this morning. So I'm gonna go have some back breakfast for you know about two hours. Should be enough time to get the tanks full and have enough water pressure and then come back and uh, do the last touches on the track and uh, be watering it and hopefully it'll be dialed today. Let's go, day one out of Castillo's with Addy. Unfortunately, I won't be riding today, but I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So let's go. Cross my fingers for good news. Mix. You know, you know, we got the crew out here. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Let's go, baby.
Bro, I want to get on one of those, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Was Ronaldo down there? Uh, no, he broke his leg. Oh, he did. I think screwing around doing his wheelies. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah he, he started riding flat track. He was all fun. So, guys, I just got back from dinner with one of my good friends, Rand Dizzle. And Clint and Addy are still here at 8.42. Let's see what these guys are doing. What are you guys doing? We got an epic bike build going on right now. Are you stealing any of my tools? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. You guys are killing me. Dude, the me. first thing we did was take all your tools and throw them everywhere. <laughs> That's what I thought. Why is the bike that. that I finally got started outside? Because it still doesn't run right. Does it? Clint? What? Does the bike no. still not run? Really? Really. So you might ask the YouTube fam. It will start <laughs> only if you put a tiny little spray of carburetor cleaner or contact cleaner through the back of the throttle body and it'll start first kick. Like instantly. Instantly. And I mean a tiny little spray. I don't mean a, a big gulp. I mean no, a tiny we're spray. talking tiny, tiny. Yeah. Man, that sucks. I thought we got it fixed. I did too. Are we just going to tell... Ty. What? So are we just going to tell, like, whoever buys it, like, every time you start it, just, like, hit it with a it's little... It's like a diesel, bro. Yeah, just hit it with some starting fluid. I mean, it runs fine. I know, it runs perfect, but Daddy, I don't know. Doesn't that say 100%, though, that the problem is fuel-related? Is the seal? No, it's fuel-related. No. If it's if you put in a little spray of fuel, it starts immediately. That doesn't tell you that. No. Hey, try this on. Oh shit! Without bending the spoke. I didn't. Calm down, Ty. Calm down. Stand down. Uh. Damn, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. Yeah. I got good finger spacing. Uh, that's why is that so light? Cause it's a six D, bro. <laughs> it's a six Dizzle. Six Dizzle. All right, so. I have better news for you. I was hoping you're gonna come home, and I was gonna be like, dude, I started that thing up four hours later, and it was brand new. Okay, guys. So the bike that I thought I fixed, I didn't. Not even close. What we have done so far on the bike is nothing. Is. <laughs> I wish nothing, honestly, is the capacitor, the kill switch, the spark plug cap coil, three different spark plugs, two different gas tanks, a different injector, a different Dude, ignition, yes, I know. I said a different we, fuel we line. Apart. What else have we tried? No, that ain't um, right. Oh, it, so I checked the spark plug against right. the motor mounts, and we have plenty of spark, so we closed it to a fuel issue, so I thought it was the injector. I cleaned, I changed the injector, then I cleaned out the old injector. I checked all that out. It's good. But here's the kicker. It starts with a tiny bit of spray. Contact cleaner. Big kicker. So, so if you guys have any more ideas, please enlighten me if I'm not checking something. I don't think it's electrical. I don't think it's a ground because it runs absolutely perfect when it started. And when we get fuel through it, yeah, that's correct. I'm correct. You're and I start it for the first time, it's good after that. It starts. But the problem is I let it sit and it somehow loses pressure through the injector, through the fuel yep, line, through correct. something where it doesn't squirt enough fuel to start it. So, comment below. Any moto experts out there, help out the self-proclaimed mechanic, please. Yeah. I've even, I've even called Lars at Honda to help me out. And, and he, like, yeah, and he said change the injector and that's what I did and it still didn't change. So, 
I'm up for suggestions. If anybody wants to donate an e-start so I could sell this thing, hit me up. What's up guys? Walking into the doctor's office right now. Crossing my fingers for good news. Hopefully my wrist is healed and I can start riding, but more importantly, I just hope it's healing and I don't have any further problems. This wrist has been one hell of a, one hell of a problem. So I'm just hoping for the best right now. Let's see what she says. Hello, how Hello. are you? I'm not good. So how are things? Good, I hope. I hope so too. Okay, open your wrist and open stations, keep the fracture, so the great ones. Any pain or anything like that? Nothing. Sorry. Well, let's see. We had talked about getting a CT because it was more yeah. it was more more accurate. Yeah. Uh, so that would probably be best because you're going to ride, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's get the most accurate. Let's just go ahead and get yes. a CT. I was trying okay. to I was trying to tell them that you wanted a CT, but they're like, uh, she didn't order one, so we just got to come in there. I'm sorry. Let's open this. Let's um, so we should be able, uh, are you in a hurry to, to no, get I, off today? No, is this okay? is This my, is today. Yeah, this okay. is my priority right now. How do you think it should be doing after eight weeks? Well, normally I would say um, it would be healing but not healed. Uh, my experience with athletes is they just, yeah. they're like a different breed. So yeah. they just heal, their bone is better quality, so it might be, in yeah, your you, case, it might be healed. Yeah, never know, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Operated on a friend of mine, he actually got a gold medal in the World Cup for, for horse jumping. Oh, really? 70 some, his bone was burning the drill. I, I've only seen her <laughs> who's 20 years old. <laughs> I just, you know, athletes, they're, they're just, the yeah. quality of tissue is just so much different than us mere mortals. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got some new drill bit for him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so go get that. I will be here all day today. Okay. Okay, so go so, get the CAT scan, right. head out to front, they'll schedule it, and uh, I will see you later. Yes. Okay. We videotaping this? Yes. Okay. So, um, how's your left shoulder? Speaking of your shoulder, can you do the Superman deal? Yeah. Okay. So, same thing, right? Kind of on your left side, even a little bit is generally fast. Uh, three passes through the machine. Okay. All right, that's it. Uh, I'll see you doc will have the results later this afternoon. I'll okay. follow up with them. Uh, her. Her. All, anyone in her, though. Yeah. MAs, nurses. Okay. Well, they didn't say fully healed. Interval healing. Let's okay. see what it looks like.
the screw? Yeah, this is the screw, and, and that's, that's the fracture. So this is the bone crossing. So you have trabeculate crossing up. Mm -hmm. um, that looks still, a lot better. It, yeah, it definitely does um, compared to where we were before. So yeah. it's not great, anybody, but you know, it's not perfect. And I know you may come down on it, but I think mm -hmm. it's probably good enough. Oh, yeah. To ride, or what are you saying? Like, good enough to uh, well, be active, good enough to ride a bicycle? Should I wait I, longer? Um, well, I mean, I don't know if it would hold up to a big wreck. Yes. But I think um, riding a bicycle would probably be okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, a big wreck, no, but then. Yeah, I mean, but. Yeah. Yeah, a big wreck could. Do really, anything. Could where you break anything. Right, but I definitely see enough bone there that I think I feel comfortable. I mean, you definitely have, you know, a lot, a lot of bone there. Yeah, it looks, you know, it's, it looks it's, good. It's, it's probably as thick as right there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Well, I think you're good. Yeah. Yeah, but just remember it's, it's, you know, a little weaker, has a really yeah, time yeah, to I mean, kind of get going. Yeah, the muscle like and everything. Yeah, exactly, and your timing's off because you just haven't been using it as much, so yeah. give yourself a little bit of Okay. Training time, but I think it's strong enough to go for it. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so um, we'll assume that it's just going to heal. We don't need any more X-rays or anything yeah. like that. Just uh, come back if things don't work out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so should I just should I do it like so? Probably start riding my bicycle. Start doing like my like normal routine and what? Get on the yeah, bike I mean like that's exactly that's what I would do because I think your timing is going to be how much flexibility do you have. Okay, so I would really be working on, you know, strengthening your whole upper extremity and getting your timing back and stuff yeah. like that. And that usually takes about six weeks. Okay. And I think in that amount of time, that's going to be three months from the date of injury. Yeah. And then you could compete. Okay. I would feel comfortable with that. All right. I think you're you're strong enough to start a good, good, really strong strengthening and training. Yeah. 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 All right. That's good. Sweet. Okay. And then three months from the date of injury, full activities. Okay. All right. All right. Good Thank luck. You. You're welcome. So you're set. That's it. Cool. <laughs> okay. Take care. Wrapping up this week's vlog. You guys seen it here first. I'm going to be riding in four to six weeks. So I'm very excited about that. And then also what we got coming up um, next week. I got um, cryo heat and the parts are going to be done and we got some surprises for you guys so that's going to be sick so watch out for the next video for the bike build and then I'm going to be also doing some other projects with Clint and be doing some adventure rides when I start back riding so look out for those videos make sure you guys subscribe do the notification bell like my videos and comment below about the bike that we talked about this week because it is still the mystery bike. We do not know what's going on. So please comment below because I'm gonna be reading them all week and trying to figure this thing out. So thank you guys for watching. Until next week, peace out.